Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So first uh, Q&A, quarterly update, shop update, whatever you want to call it, video for 2020. Um, not a whole lot of shop changes, but a few little things here and there. So we'll get after it. I've got my list of questions and we're going to start right off with the table saw. Uh, I've been asked by more than a couple of people, I was actually surprised at how many asked me to to post regular updates on the table saw, um, whether they were looking to buy one or, or whatever the case may be, uh, they wanted the update. So uh, the current update is the table saw is still holding up. Uh, it's still doing well. I don't know whether I got a lemon in the last one or, or what the scoop is, but this one is still holding up. Um, and it comes with a little bit of a caveat in that I've been on the road for work a, man, a great deal. So it hasn't had as much use uh, as the old one did, <clears throat> but I'm hoping that that gets better. All right, next question up was, why did I go with the six inch dado stack instead of an eight inch dado stack? Okay, the honest, hour, uh, honest answer in <laughs> to be completely transparent is I screwed up and didn't read the fine print. Um, I didn't realize it was a six inch stack uh, when I ordered it. So that was, you know, my bad. Um, but reality is, you, I, don't, I don't really need an eight inch dado stack very often. Uh, the six inch is, is just fine. And, and now I, I guess I'm kind of blessed with two different sizes of dado stacks and one goes out for sharpening and, and the other one becomes the workhorse. And so that's just the way it works. All right, the next question up was, I noticed a DeWalt battery circular saw used for breakdown. Are you getting away from Festool? Um, let me bring some of the tools out here and I'll answer that question. All right, so these are some of the DeWalt tools uh, that I purchased. They're all battery tools. Um, and in the case of the circular saw and the jigsaw, this is what I primarily use for breaking down material. Um, I, I don't rely on dust collection uh, for those tasks. So I went with the battery operated version so that I'm not constantly getting a cord out, etc., to do them. Uh, I also went with a battery operated uh, small router just for those little one-off tasks that I do here and there that don't generate a great deal of dust, you know, uh, rounding off a corner or chamfering a little edge or something like that. Um, small and, and compact. Um, and I also added the angle grinder, which I currently have an angle grinder. It's a Milwaukee and I like the Milwaukee. Um, but I was trying to stay in the same battery family for everything. And, and the bulk of my drills are DeWalt. So I decided to, to stay with DeWalt and cut back on my battery chargers. And that might mean there might be a Milwaukee uh, angle grinder at the end of this year in the giveaway. We'll see. Um, so the next question up was... Have you considered a downdraft sanding station uh, for your shop? And the answer is no. I, I, really, I really haven't. I've seen them. I, I like them. They do a wonderful job. Um, but with all, mostly the Festool stuff here and, and my big dust collection, it, it just it never really fit in my workflow. So um, I reserve the right to change my mind if I decide to add one, but no, it just, it, it, it's not a, it's not a great fit for this shop. Um, next question up was, can you update us on the Rikon hollow chisel mortise, mortiser and did you get a stand for it? So let me switch the camera angle over and I will show you what's going on with the Rikon. Okay, so those of you that remember when I had the, the DeWalt DW735, I built this cart 
um, specifically for my benchtop planer to sit on top of. It had the little wings on the side, so I could just clamp it right here to my, my outfeed table and everything was super stable and, and good to go. Uh, I did bolt it to the top of this cart and everything works great. Uh, as you saw, I used it in the blanket chest videos and the, the mortiser itself is, is great. Um, I have not actually put a sharpen on these chisels yet, um, but the research I've done says that uh, it, it, it's wise to upgrade these chisels. Um, that's coming up here very soon for me to put a, a sharpen on these and see where we're at, and, uh, and we'll go from there. I think uh, Lee Valley sells some, some good, good options for this mortiser. So that's what's up with the mortiser, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. All right, the next question came up is, is man, it's just one that I've gotten a lot of. And it, to paraphrase kind of all the questions put together, there's a lot of CNC's popping up in shops, and, and the question is whether or not I'm going that direction. The short answer is no, I'm not. Um, it, CNC just doesn't fit into my current workflow. I'm not, you know, cranking out a bunch of templates or, or things like that where it would it would be nice in my workflow. Um, again, I reserve the right to change my mind. Uh, if I get a wild hair, want to change directions and add a CNC, then I'll add a CNC. I'm not opposed to CNC. Um, I just I I don't have a need to go justify the cost of a CNC and all the setup and floor space they take and, and all of that um, in my shop. So currently, no, I do not have plans to add a CNC. Um, uh, what's next in the shop? And there's a few things coming in the shop. Um, I still have to close off that closet. Uh, I might get to that one of these days, but it's, it's way on the back burner. I want to add a dust collection drop at the miter saw. Uh, yes, that's the Festool Capex, um, but those that tell you that the dust collection is all that in a bag of chips, even on the Festool Capex, uh, are sadly mistaken. So. I want to put another uh, a dust drop off of my main off of there. I have a dedicated CT and, and I'll be the first to admit it does better than anything else on the market. Um, but I still have a ton of cleanup back there to do every day after a long session. So I want to add that drop. Um, and we're adding a storage shed. So between the old shop and this new shop, and um, we just don't have enough lumber storage. We don't have enough storage for the, the things that we own and, and all of that. So we're adding, I think it's uh, roughly a 16 by 16 storage shed. Uh, in fact, I was just out doing the dirt work leveling that today. Um, and I'll try to document that build when we do it, but th that should be coming this year. Um, also, probably in the next year or so, I'm going to look to upgrade the lathe. The Grizzly has been absolutely awesome to me uh, over the years, and I like that lathe, um, but I think that everything has gotten to a point where it's time for an upgrade. I'm still doing my homework on that and, and how it's all gonna work out in this shop, but I'm, I'm looking pretty strongly at the Laguna uh, for, the, for that upgrade. All right, so last question up was, I've noticed an added logo on your intro. Are you now being sponsored? <laughs> it's, it's kind of a, a yes, no answer. Um, my local hardwood dealer uh, sponsored me on a couple of builds and the relationship is, is growing and it's working out great. And I continue to put their logo up there and I continue to just get a break on my hardwood. 
um, but they are not providing the hardwood for all these builds that are going on. I'm still paying for all that stuff. I just get a little bit of a discount when I go into the store. Glacier Hardwoods is great, and I'm happy that we're moving the way that we're moving. Um, but is it a full sponsorship? No, it's, it's not. Um, and you will never see me take on a sponsorship for a, a product or, or a company that I don't believe in or wouldn't recommend to you guys. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. So, I think that that's going to just about wrap it up. There's not a whole lot else going on in the shop right now. I do have some, some pretty cool builds coming up. And uh, hopefully we'll get after them soon. Hopefully I don't have to be on the road too much for work and to pay the bills. And we can get after some really cool builds. So until next time, guys, take care.